games here at E3 that it takes a special one to sort of jump out of the crowd and catch your attention. Well, one has. It is a big hit here, but it is not a big hit with the post office. The wall poster of the big E3 computer game show in Atlanta bears the unmistakable image of an AK-47 rifle, and it asks what went wrong. For some, the answer might be the game itself. It is called Postal, a software offering already being hailed as a hit even before its scheduled September release. To anyone unfamiliar with computer software games, the blood and the mayhem of Postal could be a shock. But to the software programmers who make up much of this audience, the violence is appealing. Uh, just something about being able to, uh, you know, take your friend, blow its head off. It's mass mayhem. I get under a lot of stress at work, and it's just kind of nice to go home and just get it out that way, and then, uh, then I'm okay for the rest of the night. The term going postal is the newest entry into the English lexicon for getting angry, really angry. But it grew out of a series of random, violent shootings at U.S. post offices by disgruntled employees who took out their bosses and their girlfriends in a mad rage. That legacy seeps into this game through its name, even though the post office itself is not even a bit player. There's a big web buzz right now about, you know, should they name it that? The post office sent them some mail about, you know, you can't call it that. But the manufacturer, Ripcord Games, went ahead with the name anyway. So this is entertainment. It's just another entertainment product. We're very, very concerned and, uh, about things like that. And but the manufacturer, Ripcord Games, went ahead with the name anyway. So this is entertainment. It's just another entertainment product. We're very, very concerned and, uh, about things like that, and uh, uh, we feel very sorry for the, the families that, uh, that have suffered things like that, but we actually, this game has absolutely nothing to do with anything like that. The makers of this game say they're going to be very careful and marketed for mature audiences only. Just how mature is anyone's guess?